What's up guys, it's Biohazard Candy Kid here coming at you with another great video. Um, man, we got a lot to talk about today. One thing I would like to talk about, let me push the camera back a little more. Um, so one thing I'd like to talk about, uh, if I can pull it out of here without breaking it, is uh, MP3 players. You can still buy MP3 players um, off of any website. Um, even stores carry them. Jeez. And stuff like that. Uh, they range anywhere from like, oof, I think 20 bucks all the way on up to however much uh, the price is, you know. 20 bucks to $100. I mean, I, I got this one. Uh, let me pull it out for you, because it's... <coughs> let me pull it out for you, because this one's in the case. Um, this one is by a company called, uh, Meechin. They're a Chinese company. Uh, they make, uh, digital MP3 players. Um, you can basically have expandable storage, uh, off to the side here. And stuff like that. Um, you connect it, uh, via USB-C. And this one in particular already holds about, this one I think is like a 32 gigabyte one or something. I can't remember, but um, it holds quite a bit actually. Uh, and then it's expandable up to 128 or something, um, which think about, or maybe it's a 64 gig. But think about like 32 or 64 gigs plus an additional 128 gigabytes. Think about how much, uh, think about how many songs or videos, because this actually has Bluetooth. This can actually play videos and it can also uh, play music. And it also has a built-in radio and a clock and it has themes. So like it has um, what you would call like a background. Uh, you could change the picture of your background. I'm sure you can uh, import pictures onto this. It has a headphone jack, as well as its Bluetooth. Um, and it even has a speaker in the back. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's a speaker. So, th this thing is, it's awesome. I mean, is there a reason why I got this? Well, you see, I used to be a person that had the Sansa SanDisk MP3 player. And I also used to have iPods. Uh, the iPods I owned, I owned the little tiny square one uh, that didn't have a screen on it. I think it was the iPod Shuffle. Then I used to own three uh, iPod Nanos with the screen. One of them did not have a camera in the back. That was the one that was kind of a matte color. And then I owned two of them that had a glossy color, a pink. And no, wait. No, 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 I own three of them that had cameras in the back, never mind. But there were the ones that didn't have the camera in the back that were this matte finish. Um, you know, kind of like this. They, they weren't glossy. And then I had uh, the ones that were, you know, like this. Like, they were glossy, like this thing, you know. You can tell it's a little bit glossy. Um, things shine on it. And I believe those had speakers uh, built into it. It didn't have Bluetooth, I don't think. Uh, if I remember correctly, but you could watch videos, you could take videos, you could take photos, you could look up photos, there were games on it. This doesn't have any games on it. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, um, and stuff like that. Man, this chair isn't even high enough. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and so, basically... You know, I, I'm a big fan of MP3 players, actually. I don't like Apple as a product. I don't like the company, but I like the iPods. It's the only thing they got right. Everything else is just a piece of crap. Like their iPhones, uh, they're basically just a Blackberry, but with without the, um, what you call it, without physical buttons. Uh, they just took a concept that was already there and just made their own version of it and made it to where you just use your thumbs. Um, their computers, I know the story that 
Bill Gates and Apple, I mean Bill Gates and, and Steve Jobs worked together side by side. I know that they also had some help from outsiders and stuff like that. I, I researched the whole story. It's just, I'm a big Windows fan. I love Windows. I'm a big Sony fan. I like their Walkmans. And I like other MP3 players. I like Sansa, SanDisk uh, MP3 players. Those are really good. I like uh, SanDisk, the company. Um, I like the Zunes. But when Apple came out with their MP3 player, they they did a great job. They they came out with something that was great. They shouldn't have discontinued it. Um, I know that they came out with the Apple iPod Touch, which is basically the same thing as the cell phone they came out with. Just it doesn't have cell connectivity from a service provider, but you can still use it as a cell phone if you download an app like TextNow. You could use it uh, via Wi-Fi. So in the sense, it still is a cell phone. <laughs> Just not a service provider cell phone. Um, so I got this for a reason. This is loaded with songs, not even full. I don't even have an extra uh, memory card uh, in here. And I know this is not even full itself, just the unit itself. But there's a reason why I got this. Because I'm going backwards in technology. Uh, I want everyone to get one of these. Forget your cell phones, forget YouTube, forget music off the internet. Download your music, okay? There's a bunch of free softwares uh, that you can download music for free from. You don't need to pay for music. Everyone will talk about this copyright stuff and all that. Do you know how much music is created today? Especially with AI coming out. But do you know how much music create, is created today that is free on the internet that you can just download? That people make in their own homes. They work a 9 to 5. They have a software program that they pay for. You know, and they just make music on the computer put, post it to a site for free. I mean, yeah, there's copyright attached to it, sure. But it's there. Like... No longer are the days of the 1980s where you're sitting there burning records, you know, and selling it and there's copyright. This is, this is 2024. This is 2020, 2023. Uh, you know, <laughs> any of you who remember the Napster thing, do, do, do you know what that whole Napster thing was about? The whole Napster thing was basically a fuck you to the music industry. It was basically... The new generation saying, look, we don't need the music industry. Look, we can just put our music out for free. Who cares about copyright? Like, the music industry already saw what was going to happen to music the minute it became a business. They, that's why in their contracts it says what it says about how they control not just the 1920s of the music industry. Let me, let me say it differently. They don't just control the music that came out in the 1920s on records. and the, They also control the future music of the internet. Meaning the, the music that would be put on the internet. Why? Because they knew where music was headed. They knew it was going to be headed onto uh, some type of a web. Some type of a computer. Where people could download and share files. So the whole Napster thing was to try to take control of it. But they couldn't. Because you still have Frostwire which a lot of people use, which you can get music off of YouTube from. Uh, there's there's Bear Share. There's all these, you know, some of them might be dead by now, but I know Frostwire is still uh, there and stuff like that. And there's a lot of people doing it for their own purpose. It's not for selling and stuff. They just use it, download it on their, their uh, MP3 player or their cell phone, and voila. Is there anything wrong with it? No, there isn't. You know what, let, let me say this. Now that we're on the subject of copyright infringement and stuff like that, okay? I know we can go into authenticity. I know we can go to what's yours and what's not yours and people stealing and all this stuff. I, we can get into a whole realm of things. I'm going to say this. And I'm going to say this in two different ways. Oh, and by the way, I want to show you that I'm using my uh, Mayono Caster um, light microphone. So tell me if the audio is, is... I've used it before in the past, but this time I want you to really tell me if the audio is different from me using my um, uh, lavalier lapel microphones uh, from uh, the ones that I have. So 
Um, so essentially, okay, I'm going to put this in, in two ways. And then, and then I want you just to write in the comments or I want you to tell me what you think. Just give, give me your input. Go ahead, you know. Um, so, first things first. There's a channel on YouTube. There's a channel out there called Primitive Technology. Now, he's basically living out in the middle of nowhere in Australia, like building things. He, he lives in a house. He lives in the city. But he goes out to the wilderness and um, he basically builds things. He lives out there. He like like for one day, like he'll he'll do videos of him building a hut, building a furnace, doing all this kind of thing, growing food, catching uh, food, like you know, uh, like squirrels or you know, whatever fish is out there in the streams, you know, in the little river beds. But he's living. There's no money involved. It's, it's just like the Stone Ages, but there's no currency, there's nothing. He's basically making fire, he basically has a place to sleep, he is getting up in the morning and continuing building his things and everything functions. He's, he's even made iron pit thrills. He's, he's actually uh, figured out a way to get iron out of the earth. He's made clay pots, he's, he's grown potatoes, he's eaten the potato, I mean, so he's living, you know? He's being, he's, he's you know, He's surviving. He's he's not dead. He's not poor. He's not rich. He just has a place to sleep, eat, and, and he's doing his thing. You know, he's building things. He could build a whole village all by himself. You know, he could build a small little village containing a five huts and maybe, you know, some storage area and a furnace, you know, and, you know, whatever. He even made some uh, roof tiles out of clay, put it on the top of one of his huts, and I mean... There you go. When the rain comes, when the snow comes, whatever happens out there, it doesn't even penetrate in. No leakage whatsoever. It has no issues. So, so there's that, right? And you'll see where I'm headed with this. Then you have people who, they are in a house. They're in an apartment. They're in the city. They're, you know, they work a job. Uh, they have a job. They work. Um, they have a career they work, they have their own business they work, they make money, you know, money is involved. They have a vehicle or maybe not a vehicle, you know, they they have a they have some type of a transportation, whether it be walking or something else. They have to pay bills, they have to go buy groceries, you know, things cost money. You'll see where I'm headed with this. Now there's people out there who they make movies. They make music. And there's people out there who sell that stuff, they download it for free, and they sell it to make a profit so they can pay for the bills. So they can uh, pay for gas, the food, you know, pay for their family and stuff, you know, medical bills, all that stuff. And you're going to sit here and tell me that that's wrong? Or you're going to sit in here and tell me that the primitive technology guy is wrong also. I mean, you see where I'm headed with this? You see what I'm getting at? Do I think it's wrong to get a whole bunch of free music? No. I mean, do I think free is wrong? I mean, we get free stuff all the time. So someone who is your next door neighbor, they bake a cake and they bring it to you. And you didn't pay anything for it. That's free. So, I don't see you complaining about that. I don't see, like, we accept that. But yet, we come with this idea of, oh, life isn't free. Nothing is free. Like, really? We get free things all the time. I mean, it's easy to give me an example. I got a free microphone from Marcus Picks on YouTube. All I had to do was enter in his giveaway and I got it for free. I didn't have to pay anything for it. Yeah, he had to pay. Okay. And what I mean by free is the person receiving the stuff did not have to pay anything for it. And maybe the other person didn't have to pay anything either because let's say the person who baked the cake for you got all the ingredients for free. So let's say the person who gave the ingredients 
had to pay for the ingredients. They gave it to the person for free, so that person got the ingredients for free. Then they baked a cake for free, and then they gave it to you for free. So initially, it's free, really, for the, for, for the first two people. So it's, let's just say it's really free. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of people come with this notion of like, oh, we shouldn't be giving stuff for free, free handouts, free this. Think of it this way. Think of it this way, and we'll go back to the scenario. You have people who live their daily lives and they need to live. They need to pay for things. There's money involved. And they go and they do stuff that we call illegal, not me, the evil people call illegal, to make a quick buck so they can survive. You get the whole survival thing? See, there's the guy surviving out into the wilderness, like I just showed, told you, primitive technology, money doesn't exist. And then there's the person who is surviving. That's, that's not out in the world. It's that actually has to pay bills, you know? He has to pay bills. He has to um, basically... Uh, you know, buy groceries, toiletries, expenses. You know, he has expenses. Like, like he, he, there's money involved. One has no money involved, and the other has money involved. You get where I'm headed with this? So, if someone has to survive, there's only two ways of surviving. The only two ways are basically, you do like primitive technology, and there's no money involved, and you just build things from dirt and trees and stuff, and it costs you no money. It doesn't cost you anything. I mean, the world just regenerates itself. You chop down a tree, you build a new one. Or you live outside of that. Let's say you live uh, Kansas City, right? Uh, or actually, let's say you live in Austin, Texas. You live in Austin, Texas, and you're going to try to find ways to make money, however it is because you have to pay your bills, because you have to, you just have to pay for things. And, 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 and so, going back to the music thing, is that the start of Napster was basically saying, hey look, screw you. There's people out here who, you know, they don't want to pay for music. Or, they rather get music for free and then sell it themselves to make a quick buck. But they're not saying it's their music. People who sell music by getting it for free off the internet are not saying, oh look, I made this song. I've never heard anyone say that. I can look this up on the internet too and see if there's people actually making a video sitting... This... Okay, let me give you an example. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Robin and I own a website and I download a whole bunch of music for free uh, off of uh, LimeWire, just to give you an example. I know LimeWire is dead, but I, or FrostWire or whatever. Um, and uh, basically, uh, I'm downloading all of Beyonce songs, but they're my songs. I make those songs. Who does that? I've never seen a video, I've never heard anyone say those words, say it like that, or say that at all. Come on, really? Are we that stupid? Are we that retarded? See, this is the kind of shit that people need to stop saying. People need to, to, to stop making up. We, we need, we, you know, I remember when LimeWare was big. I had friends who downloaded a whole bunch of music off of it. They gave me a bunch, okay? And I was like, sweet, I don't have to pay for anything. They don't either. The only ones that have to pay for it are the ones who bought the songs and put on LimeWire for free. I was a big proponent of it, and I still am. I'm a big proponent of free music. Especially nowadays that the music industry is a piece of shit, and I don't want to give money to fucked up people. I really give money to... My buddy next door in his garage, who plays guitar or, or keyboard or whatever instrument, and does it with a few of his friends. I really give money to them, because at least I know they're creating real music and they're not part of the industry. And they're not even part of the underground music industry. They're, they're the real type of music. They're like the Beethovens of the music. 
of the music world. Then give it to, you know, just to name an artist, Beyonce. There you go. Um, so, like, I was a big proponent of it, and I still am. Okay, like I said. So in today's world, you know, and just like, you know, when LimeWire was big, uh, there were people saying, oh, we need to stop this because, you know, people are, are selling this music and saying it's their music. My friends who downloaded the music off of LimeWire, they never said once, oh, this is my music, I created it. You know what they told me? Hey, I got a whole bunch of music off of LimeWire. You, you want it? It's a whole bunch of uh, music. I'll give you it. You can put it on your computer and then you can put it on your MP3 player. You know, or put it on CDs uh, to uh, listen to on your uh, CD player or, or uh, portable CD player. That's what they told me. They never said, oh, it's uh, uh, my music and I made it. <laughs> really? And, and that's a lot of friends. That's not one friend. Oh, but I have a story. I have friends. Quit making up shit. You're making up shit. And, and don't go to your friends and then tell them to say that when they really never said that. Just, to, just for me to come over there and be like, see, look, he'll even tell you. Because I'll, I'll know. I'll know that you told him to say that. Because a lot of you people do that. A lot of people out here do that. A lot of, people, a lot of humans on this world, they do that. Manipulation. I'm not that stupid, not that retarded. You can't get me. Nice try. Ain't gonna work. So, essentially, MP3 players, they're gonna make a comeback. You know why? Because people are sick and tired of cell phones. Already. People are sick and tired of... Uh, well, and MP3 players can be tablets, they can be, you know, anything other than a cell phone. Well, I, I wouldn't say tablets, actually. I'll say this, okay? First of all, MP3 players, these kind, not the MP3 players that are like the iPod Touch, okay? MP3 players, just like the regular iPods, the batteries can last you up to a whole week. This thing hasn't been charged for like, it's, it's off. But even when your cell phone's off, it drains battery, okay? And it drains pretty quickly. Doesn't matter what cell phone you have. You can have a brick cell phone or you could have a slim cell phone. This hasn't been charged in like probably two months and it still has full battery. That will last me three weeks on a single charge. I want everyone to get out their cell phones right now and I want you to beat that. Go ahead, beat it. Fully charge it and beat it. You won't even last... Half a day. Exactly. And we have cell phones that can last a full day on a charge, but that's about it. I know that I, I, I think there's one that's an old cell phone from like Verizon or whatever. It's, it, it, you can listen to music on it though. It had, it had a huge brick battery and it could last up to two days on a single charge, but it, you couldn't listen to music on it. There was no headphone jack. There were no speakers on it. You couldn't watch videos on it. It, it, it was basically a smartphone without the, without the audio and uh, capabilities. And it didn't come with Bluetooth. I don't think so. So they removed some things to make it have two days of, of battery life. But that was two days. That was not two weeks. I could go, I could go literally a, like either a week and a half or two weeks off of this. And if I just let it sit here, it'll drain so slow and like it'll take two months for it to be all gone. So MP3 players, and this Mi Chan MP3 player is really great. I think a lot of you should get it. Download all your songs. Uh, put, uh, 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 you know, a, a memory stick in there, and make sure you put the highest one in there that it's rated for. Don't go for, don't like, you know, look at this and be like, oh, this has uh, 64 gigs. Oh, I'll just put another eight gigs in here. No, put the highest in here. That way you get the most out of this. Oh, but what if I don't want to? Well, fine, but you, you want to put the highest. Why would you put any lower? Why? And please don't say, oh, now you're talking to the concept of more is, is better. No, I mean, 
You want more storage, don't you? So cap this off. Top it off. Oh, and this has recording functionality. Uh, this, this has a recording function, so it has a built-in microphone. You can literally record off of this. Or you could plug in a headset with a microphone and record into it, which is really nice. Do I wish I had a camera? Yeah, but then that would take away some of the, the battery power. And I don't care. I could use a cell phone for that. I could use an actual camera for that. Because if you were to put, put a camera on this, they probably put one on the back. I mean, it'd probably be okay, but it probably wouldn't be better than even uh, your cell phone camera on the back. Even though it'd probably just be like the one on the front. Uh, you know, just your, your selfie camera. So, I just want to make this a note that, that, that these are still out here. You can still buy them. There's plenty of them. And I'm talking about these type of MP3 players. Not the ones that take applications. Not the ones that are like cell phones without the cell capability. I'm talking about the old school type of MP3 players are still out here. There's a bunch of them that are shit. They look like the iPod knockoffs. You know, they literally have the scroll wheel. They literally look like iPods. I've seen some of those. They look like shit. I've read the reviews. This seemed like the best one ever. And, it, hey, I would buy another one. I would still buy another one of these Meechin uh, MP3 players. They're really good. I don't have any problem with them. So, yeah. I was going to talk about more, but I'll do it in the next video. But this is just about the MP3 player. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and stuff like that. Alrighty. Bye, Isaac Candy Kid will be signing out. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, make the world a better place. Love each other. Do what's right. Do what's ethical. Do what's moral. Uh, you know, listen to God. Uh, basically, obey His rules. And don't, you know, do anything evil. Don't do stupid things. Don't do retarded, fucked up things. Because that's not going to get you anywhere. If anything, like I said, make a video. You don't have to post it anywhere. But make a video of yourself. Show yourself doing things. See what you've done wrong and done, done right. You know, see what you have done wrong and see what you have done right. And then analyze it. And then be like, you know what? I can improve on this, this, and this. Record yourself in life. You don't have to share it with the world. You can just share it with yourself. Fix yourself. Make yourself a better person. Seriously. There's lots of videos and books that teach you how. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you some things about, uh, about the book I'm reading, about the other book I read. Okay? Actually, let's do that in the next video. Let's do that. You guys ready? Alrighty. So, peace out.